I want to know what you're most looking forward to in our putting together of this piece. Uh, aside from the fact that it's going to be the first of what I hope will be many performances together, um, I'm looking forward to bringing to life what I personally think is, if not the most beautiful piano concerto ever written, then certainly tied for first place with uh, Mozart's A major number 23. Um, I'm looking forward to bringing to it my own personal feelings about a lot of Beethoven's music, which is it's not always as powerful in the vehement way that other conductors have chosen to interpret it. Was he a powerhouse? God knows, yes. Was he passionate? Yes. Was he a firebrand? Yes. A revolutionary? Yes. Did that always mean that when his music was fast and loud, that it had to have this kind of almost angry energy about it. Mm -hmm. I say no. I love that, you know, so often we get the heaviness in classical era music because we're emphasizing downbeats all the time. And he doesn't do that. He doesn't let me do that because in my left hand, it's the chord on the after the downbeat that is emphasized. So that we get this sort of, we're, we're pulling away from, we're, we're not getting bogged down in the music, we're pulling away and um, it's uplifting. It, it takes us up rather than down, which is, which is strategic. I mean, the man was yeah. a genius, he knew what he was doing. It's the opening chord. Um, it's, you know, I'm all alone, I'm all in my lonesome and I've got, you know, uh, sweat beating on my forehead from a little bit of nervous energy and also lights pounding on me. And then I have to create this moment that is like, like it's never been heard before. And I find that pressure very different and very challenging than any other moment in any other concerto that I've ever played. Um, and I found that the best way is to channel all of that into this chord, but um, a little- Can you, can you give us a, can you give us a little preview well, of I will, but first I want to tell you what I, how I channel that. Okay. There is a Madonna song, and I can't remember which one it is, where she opens it with this very sort of, in this very reverberant space, and she says, God? And that is what I think about. Not Madonna, not the, erase the, the image of Mad the sort of high drama brilliance of Madonna, but just that idea of being alone in a big space, like a sanctuary or a chapel or a, an amphitheater and feeling like there's nothing except the echo of your own voice. So. What I love as an interpreter, as a performer, is riding that very thin line between what is Beethoven and what is Claire Longendike and Adam Stern and the Federal Way Symphony Orchestra. I think that it is a, that's the challenge in being a, a contemporary, a 21st century musician, I think, is that we can't play these beautiful pieces the same way they've been played over and over again because we're not those people. But yet we have to, it is our responsibility to bring the character, the voice of Beethoven to be the vehicle for that. So, so. And, and not only are we not those people, we ourselves, one hopes, are constantly evolving. Um, I, I, was, I, I was struck yet again uh, uh, when, when uh, the Federal Way Symphony and I did a, a, a short program a few months ago, uh, to celebrate the fact that we were finally going to perform live. And I started the concert with Ein Kleine Nacht Musik, which, you know, God knows how many people have done it. I myself have done it 10 times in my career, uh, if not more. And 
And I took the score off my shelf in advance of the performance when I started studying it. And I said, oh, look at that. I never noticed that before. I never noticed that. And it's the same, it's the same score that I've used for years. The score hasn't changed, but nope. I have, thank goodness. Yeah. I'm, I'm still seeking things and finding them in these timeless masterpieces. I, I think that the greater the work of art, be it a concerto, be it a great film, be it an incredible novel, they keep yielding their secrets to you the more that you yourself evolve. Yeah. And our circumstances change, just like I was saying before, you know, even if, even if I played this not more than two years ago, 18 months, no, it will almost be exactly two years ago before, before COVID shut us down. I'm a completely, especially after the last year and a half, mm. I'm a completely different person from when I was then. And that shows, I think, I hope in a good way, 